to give you a call back in uh, like half an hour. Yeah. I'm literally, I'm surrounded by donkeys. Don't rub your bum on my truck. <laughs> Holy moly, look at the gentleman sausage on that. Hello. You're just a baby, huh? Yeah, you're just a baby. No, don't eat me, thanks. Sorry, I haven't got any food for you today. I'll get you some on the way back though, I promise. How about that? I'll see you tomorrow, I'll bring you some. just massively down on power and then all of a sudden it just started to uh, not sound good. I also had to put a quart of oil in it because it had burnt a bunch of oil so get that. Oh, and of course it would happen when I'm about as far away as I can possibly get. They said it'll be fun. They said I mean we're definitely down on power, but I feel like we just got a sill in the back Don't ask questions just accept it for what it is This is the filler, and it's flat for whatever reason. So when the truck is, you know, at a normal angle, then that is 90 degrees to the ground, which is stupid, obviously. So we are gonna do some surgery on this, and then this will be our little funnel. There we go. Okay, let's see how we do. All good, yeah, I just gotta add some oil. Did you guys just come from there? Yeah. How is it? It's pretty, it's pretty spectacular. Is it? It's a long way back in there. Yeah, I'm trying to get down and uh, go to the campsite, just stay there for the night. Did you go get a permit? I didn't. Alrighty, I appreciate All right, the, be uh, safe. the help, thank you. So I'm not sure how much of that you guys saw or heard, but a nice couple from Tennessee just went down there, said it's beautiful down there, um, but you do need a permit, which I didn't realize. So I'm gonna throw in some more oil, go get a permit, because if this has already given me issues, the last thing I need is for tribal police to come and take me away. Find your everyday adventure, he said. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. One, two, three, <laughs> Look at that turning circle, that's hilarious. Did I put my cap back on? No, I didn't. What a moron. I swear to God, if I had half a brain, I'd be dangerous. Where did I put the oil cap? Wait, no. Yeah, there, and then somewhere around here. There it is. What a muppet.
officially driving into the Grand Canyon in my mini truck. How crazy is that? This is not what I anticipated at all. Wow. I know this has been kind of a weird episode because I haven't yet done an intro. So, uh, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode, even though you've already been watching for probably the last 15 minutes. Basically, my plan was to come and camp at a little beach that's on the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon. Now, my sum total of knowledge about this beach is that I saw pictures of it on Google Maps and there was somebody that posted a picture of their truck right by the water on the rocks on the beach. And I thought, that looks great. He got down there, I should go there and I should bring the act because I haven't been on a long road trip with it since the day that I bought it. There have been some issues, I'm not gonna lie. We've run into a uh, few things along the way. I'm not gonna say anything too loud because at the moment the Acti is running fine. I've put two more quarts of oil in it and hopefully that's all it needed and it's gonna be okay until I can get it back and fix whatever's actually wrong with it. But for now, it's working fine. And we are hoofing down this gravel rally stage of a trail through the Grand Canyon, which is quite honestly, unbelievable. I had no clue that the scenery was gonna look like this. I thought it was just gonna be a little winding trail that took me down to the river. I didn't realize that I was gonna be driving through a canyon thousands of feet high. This is pretty spectacular. Welcome to the Colorado River and welcome to the Grand Canyon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. <laughs> Just look at this place. Wow. Yeah, I was not anticipating this. So I did think that I might be able to come and have a swim in the river, or bathe even. But no, this is definitely rafting river, and it's brown, it's very brown. And it's moving very fast, so yeah, I wouldn't want to get in there. It looks like it goes deep pretty quick as well. Oh, it feels good to be here. I am starving. I haven't eaten all day. Honestly, I anticipated this to be like a little three-hour jaunt down here, set up camp, lounge around. I should have known better. When do my trips ever go that smoothly? There's always something that happens. This time it was that the Acti is burning oil at an astonishing rate. So we'll have to fix that. But like I said, it's working right now. I'm not getting any issues. So I think we have to go around the top here. You can't actually camp down here, which is a shame because it would be nice to camp by the river, but I think you go up on the top. So let's go up there, let's set up camp. And then I am ready to cook dinner and I've got a treat to cook tonight. Okay, but let's get a picture down here. just have found the best seat in the house. So there's a bunch of people back there that are all camped out underneath the uh, awnings and stuff. But there's this little trail that comes down and it leads down to this, which I'm assuming is shelter for you to pitch a tent. It's flat, it's soft, perfect. Got this nice sandy trail. There's the river. And then look at this. I've got a fireplace. This is a fireplace. There has been a fire. So I dare say, that this is allowed. I don't see anything wrong with this. I think, I think this is where I'm gonna stay. And park the Acti in my little carport. 
<laughs> uh, I've got to navigate some of these rocks which look a bit sketchy, but I'm sure we'll fit. <laughs> we made it. You know what? I forgot beer. There we go, there's the tent up. I'm getting good at this now. I mean, it is only two poles, so it's very simple, but that'll be perfect. And there we have it, camp is officially set up. Bedroom over here. Uh, this is the hallway into the kitchen. And then over there is the living room. And then that is my backyard. So not a bad little setup for the night. I cannot tell you how excited I am about putting this together into the most delicious curry you have ever seen somebody make on YouTube. I literally have had two eggs today. That's it. This is going to be egg number three, which I'm going to eat right now because I'm that hungry. And then we will start cooking. Everything's pretty easy. Just got to throw it in one pot and let it simmer. I bought some naan bread as well, some mint rice, some rice. Thought I'd do it right. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's... Oh God, that's a hard egg. Let's eat this and then start cooking. Oh my god. can't believe I forgot beer. Actually, is it allowed? Yeah, it must be allowed, right? Well, yeah, yeah, I saw it at the gas station. Yeah, you can have alcohol. I think there are some reservations that are dry, um, but I don't believe the Wallapai reservation is one of them. How's that for a view though? Ha, ha, that's hot. Ho, ha. This nun is on fire. This nun is on fire. This nun is ha on fire. Ha, don't touch the bit, it's just on fire. Oh my goodness, everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep well tonight. That is quite the feast. Oh, you little bastard. Oh my God, that's so good. It's no tsunami, but it's pretty damn good. Oh, look at that little mouse. Don't go in there, you'll get bloody burnt. Yeah, let's see if he's a Jamaican mouse, if he likes rice and peas.
was crazy. That little mouse, or whatever he is, just came right out around my camera and then came right up to me. He's eating the rice. See, when you're off grid, you've got no phone. This is what you do for entertainment. Well, good morning. That was actually a pretty good night's sleep. The temperature was about perfect. I didn't put the rain fly over. I just had it open like this. The moon was so bright. It was like almost like daytime. So uh, yeah, that actually woke me up a couple of times. I woke up and I was like, is there somebody outside? Like I thought someone had a flashlight on it was that bright. It looks like it got up at just the right time because behind me looks like we've got some of the guys that are putting the rafts in because they actually do whitewater rafting trips through the Grand Canyon from here, which is something that I really want to do because obviously I can't ride uh, sea do through certain parts. Like basically all the Grand Canyon is off limits for PWCs, but obviously they do these whitewater rafting trips and they do multiple day trips as well, where you like raft and then camp and you know, and basically do this, but you go on a raft. So I really want to do that and continue that exploration of the Colorado. What a great place to wake up. I can now officially say that I have slept in the Grand Canyon, which is nuts. Acti here looking pretty. Now that it's cooled down, let's have a little check on that oil situation. All right, good, half. So that hopefully should be enough to get us home. So some of you more keen eyed viewers may have noticed that I've done a few things to the Acti since last time. Uh, so I've added these recovery boards here uh, and also this little shovel, a little tiny shovel. I thought it was going to be bigger than it is. Uh, I didn't intend for it to be so small, but I guess widow truck, widow shovel makes sense. Uh, I also replaced the uh, stock rear loading light with this uh, pod light that I had kicking around. I've had this thing for literally years and never fitted it to anything. And so it is way brighter than the uh, stock one. And then, of course, we have the roof rack uh, that I've installed, which, to be honest, is more for looks than anything else. Not that it's not functional, but with all of the bed space, I'm yet to fully load it up so that I can't fit any more in the bed that I need to put something on the roof. When I come and do trips like this, I might get another spare wheel and then I can put the spare up there. And that way, you know, if I did run into any issues, then I could just change a wheel rather than having to try and patch and repair a tire. Then inside, I also installed this, which is my Sparco uh, deep dish race wheel. This was on my Mercedes. It was also on my jet boat. And now it's on the Acti. I do think I'm going to have to get a slightly lower profile hub because it sticks up quite far, which actually is quite nice because it gives me more space for my knees. So obviously this is quite cramped anyway, but it just means that it's quite the reach to get to your indicators, which honestly, it's not too bad. But like I say, I think if I can just get a little slimline hub, it'll just make things a little bit easier. Then I've also ordered a bed liner kit as well. So I'm gonna bed liner this whole thing black so it'll give it more protection it'll cover up some of this rust and i think it'll just look nicer i'm also going to unbolt this roll cage here uh, and i will paint this black as well so we'll get that kind of white and black theme going then i might do some stickers as well just you know kind of jazz it up a little bit and then i'm going to do some spotlights up on the front here so i'll probably do i don't know four or five spots across the front I'll have that one on the back. So yeah, it'll be a perfect little run around for doing this kind of stuff or just hanging out down at the beach, whatever. So yeah, very excited about that. But what I'm more excited about is making a cup of tea. Well, while I wait for that cup of tea to cool down, I suppose I should probably put this stuff away. And there we go, locked and loaded. Taking all of our rubbish out, had a little scout round as well. It was actually incredibly clean, didn't find anything else to pick up. 
we have all of our rubbish going we've got my oil for hopefully never and then all the gear is all secured and i put it up closer to the cab just to try and bring the the uh, center of gravity forwards because obviously the engine is right there so just weight distribution wise but me in the front and all this it just keeps the the weight right in the middle rather than too far over the back but anyway without further ado let's see if she will start All right, that's a yes, we started. Sounds like we have all the cylinders as well this morning. Just give her a little minute to warm up. Seems like the gentlemanly thing to do before we go hoof it back up that trail. So the only thing that I'm leaving for the next person is my wood. Oh, and also I left some breakfast for my little mouse because I don't know if you can see now, but in his or her little hole, there is a, a bunch of grass now. So he, she obviously decided to build a little nest in there. So she's got some brekkie for when she wakes up. So nice to meet you, little mouse.
How about it? So we're actually driving Route 66 for a lot of this trip and all along you've got all this kind of stuff. So Cars, the movie Cars, was actually based on a few towns around here and obviously Route 66 itself. So you have these homage pieces out here which are really cool. Although this thing looks like it's seen better days. And then I think I can see Mater over there. Let's go and see him. Here he is. <laughs> no, they've done the teeth with the uh, wooden panels, that's cool. Oh, you got Herbie as well. I bet you that thing still runs better than my truck. So it says home of Giganticus Hedicus. And I'm guessing that uh, that's this guy. I mean, he's pretty big. Look at this, I've got an old Jag. Jag. I'd love to know the stories of some of these cars. Like, you know, how did this thing end up being shipped all the way across here? Obviously driven and looked after at some point and then just left here to be a piece of artwork. Hey, that's a cute little truck. That's cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Although it's uh, it's dying at the moment, so I've got to try and get it all the way back to uh, Lake Havasu. So that's all quite a ways. Yeah. Oh no. So I'm just taking it easy. I'm not saying anything too loud. Just pretend like it's okay. How much you love? Thank you very much. Have Take care. Great. Cool. I got myself a Route 66 sticker from Route 66. Beautiful. All right, let's do a little truck. Only, I don't know, because I haven't got a GPS yet, but only a few hundred more miles to go. All right, little Acti, let's do this. Let's get us home. absolute tourist look there is a thing you can drive through that says route 66 on it and I'm gonna drive through it and take a picture <laughs> yeah look at that <laughs> yeah sure you, you can just say it's a video so you can just hold it for a second okay. Thank you. Merci. <laughs> yeah. Ta-da! We did it. That girl was French and I just said merci and she was like, oh, sacré bleu. I tell you what, wouldn't it be fun to drive this as far as I can on Route 66 once it's fixed? Hmm. Might have to look into that.
this couldn't be any more perfect. I have now been to Oatman four times and I've missed the show every time. I just pulled into town to get some uh, blankets for my mum and the show's on. That was a lot of fun. We got the blankets, we've got the donkey food. Now it's time to go give them some food. Can you guys stop fighting? Come and get some food, please. Oh, you're not fighting. Got it. Okay, carry on. Oh, you know that sound, don't you? Yeah. Mmm, yummy. Oh, hello. Hello, friend. Here, I've got you one. Don't need my steering wheel, though. Hello, everyone. Hello. There you go. Go on, don't spill it in my car. Don't spill it in my car. Thank you. <laughs> one for you, bloop. One for you, bloop. One for you, bloop. One for you. Bloop. <laughs> you guys are so funny. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got a nice widow one. Yeah. Why? Why? Well, you're not going to get any now, are you? Because you were naughty. Piss off. No. No, you're being naughty. Go away. You get some. Watch out. Don't run in front of the cars. And this? You're very gentle. You're nice. Look at these ears. Look at these big ears. Oh, they're nice, huh? That's nice. That's nice. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Diesel likes it behind his ears too. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you. It's always a pleasure. I'll see you guys next time, all right? Mmm, donkey spit hands. Just in case you wondered how much oil this was burning, I had the tailgate down and uh, that's what it kicked out because I'm back here with Desert Fleet Dan. What a great way to end the trip, back at the mechanic shop. <laughs> so I was texting with Dan the whole time while I was on the trip and I was like, I'm not sure that things are good. Like this thing definitely looks like there's some issues. And uh, he was like, well, limp it back, bring it back and we'll take a look. So here it is. This thing is so much fun. It's so much fun but I just don't like the fact that it's burning, what, three quarts of yeah, oil every so 100 miles? It's burning a little too much oil. What, how many quarts of oil does this hold? It only holds two and a half quarts, <laughs> so three quarts, you can call it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I essentially, yeah, I'm having to do a, a manual oil change yeah, every hundred miles. It's changing miles. itself. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. All right, guys, well, look, I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and uh, keep your fingers crossed for me, please. The, uh, the Acti will be back. I'm committed to getting this thing up and running so we can go do, do more adventures like that because it was so much fun. And like I say, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you've got any repair work that needs doing in the Havasu area, give Dan a call, although he is busy right now with my stuff, so you might have to wait. Because we've also got things going on with the truck. So Saturday, we were supposed to be doing some new install stuff on my truck. That's now been pushed back. The Golf is obviously broken too. My Sea-Doo trailer's broken. That should be getting fixed today. So just uh, all I have that's working now is my Ram. Yeah. That's it. Of all my vehicles. Well, actually, no, the Sea-Doo's are fine as well. So the Ram and the Sea-Doo's, we're, we're good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please follow, subscribe, like, do all the things. But most importantly, remember, until next time, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.